The first man was shot in his tie, and because he continued uh, violence against me, I had I shot him in his chest. But he, being under the influence of coke, they just kept coming. It didn't slow them down. Uh, the other person was shot in his head after being shot also in his chest, who just kept coming. The only thing that slowed him down was a shot to his head. Unfortunately, he passed away quietly. This businessman is licensed to kill to protect his family and property. This is what the average man in the street, in the street carries now, a revolver or semi-automatic. In 1991, some 1,500 gun licenses were granted. So far this year, the figure has doubled. By the end of the year, there will be more than 4,500 new licensed gun holders. You load six rounds, and you're ready to fire. A few, like this woman, are trained, but all are determined to shoot if they have to. Three men broke into the home. My husband, my father, no, they were there, you know. And um, they were just cutting away at my, my family. What do I do? I could not have done anything to assist them in any way. We applied for a permit, which was granted to us, and uh, we, we are making full use of it. And certainly something like this will not happen again. Unlike some states in America, our citizens can't walk into a gun shop with a driver's license and buy a gun. Although the police commissioner decides on whether you deserve one, you don't have to be trained to get a license. The records show that very often these firearms issued turn back to haunt them, that they become victims of their own attempt to protect themselves. No one knows just how many illegal arms are out there. Whatever the number, it's one too many. Last year alone, there were some 300 armed crimes. This year, the figure stands at 150 so far. All in all, a potentially controversial and explosive situation. The guns will just bring on the criminal, will bring on criminal guns, and the, and the criminals will outgun anybody. You know, if you have a gun, the criminal's going to get a better one. And it's just going to escalate like that. You've got, you're you're going to move straight back into the position you were before of being threatened by the criminal. They're going to get more sophisticated weapons no matter what you do. Look at the amount they had in July. After you, re you reach a situation whereby the businessmen and certain members of the public have to have weapons, have them trained properly, and arm them. To shoot to stay alive, if somebody shoots at me, I'm going to shoot back. That sounds stupid. Because if somebody shoots at you and they're accurate, then you don't live to shoot back. So that we don't only deal with shoot. We deal with a don't shoot situation, an alertness situation, um, uh, a situation that makes the defense gun owner aware of his or her surroundings. This um, sort of viciousness and power creeping into society. I think it's, it, it's all quite wrong. It, you know, it's going opposite to, to what the religions and the, and, and, and the people and the think that the, the thoughtful people are trying to move society the other way, and this is obviously going to push it the wrong way. If you are armed and the man is coming at you with a knife and you tell him to drop that knife and he fails to do it, he's going to be shot. If you did not have a weapon and he came with that, he's going to kill you. One, one can't, mustn't... Um, be judge and jury with a gun in your hand. The bottom line is that a gun in untrained hands brings power without responsibility, which can only lead to loss of human life. Ira Martha, TV6 News, with a special report on citizens up in arms.